Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and they are allowing me to check out a 2015 Ford Mustang. Now, this is a pretty rare car because there's less than 2,000 of them ever made. It's the 50th anniversary of the Ford Mustang, and this is a numbered car, and I'll show you all that stuff when we get inside. And also, there's a white envelope on the dash which has something interesting in it which I'll show you when we get on the inside so just looking at it it is the color is obviously white but it's called Wimbledon white which is a slight I guess a different shade of white it is a classy looking car that's for sure it has the 19 inch forged aluminum wheels Ventilated disc brakes on the front and back. It has the Brembo caliper system. Looks like a four piston Brembo brake system. This one has the 5.0 liter V8 muscle car. And here in the front, you can see it's got the those LED accents there, running lights, plus the HID projector headlights with LED fog lights down here. Check out that front end. I mean, that is just a... They did a really good job with the 15 Mustangs. I'm going to have all this information in, in the description, a link to this. You can get an idea of what it is it looks like now, if you want to use the pause button. Now this vehicle uh, has a the ability to lock and unlock the doors just by pushing this button here. To uh, It's not really a button, you just put your finger there, it locks, and then putting your hand here to unlock it. It's a proximity key system. It does have remote start as well, which I'll show you that in, when we get on the inside. So here's the the key sitting inside. That's why, that's why I say that. The vehicle's already running. I wanted you to hear it. So anyways, here's the inside of the passenger door. It has like a two-tone black with like a cashmere white interior. Really sweet leather seats. Heated and cooled, by the way. And also you have those, those contrast stitching around the edge there. And the, the cashmere parts uh, is kind of perforated there. Perforations around there. I guess in the door it's more for looks than anything else. Then you've got that pocket at the bottom. And this one has a 12 speaker sound system in it, the shaker system. And you got the Mustang threshold there. There's the number of the car. You can see it's something 1,964 made like this one the seats are incredible with the stitching and two-tone leather I like that color combination really sharp so let's check out the left compartment and see what's in here it's just kind of a regular old left compartment no padding or anything all right let's take a look at the back seats you can see they're pretty significantly bolstered in the back and they look very comfortable. Leg room is a little bit questionable considering, you know, especially considering that front seat's all the way back. But hey, you know, you can always move the seat up if you got some back seat drivers. Put the seat back. Now you have a combination of a power forward and back and then your manual uh, tilt there for your seat and go ahead and get the keys out so you can see what they look like they're still wrapped in plastic and I'm gonna stay that way you see you have your remote start your lock and unlock and also opening up your trunk so let's check that out
So there's part of your shaker system. There's your subwoofer. Pretty decent amount of space back here. And under here we have no spare tire, but it does have a tire inflator kit with the uh, with the sealant. So you definitely want to be aware of that if you buy a vehicle. A lot of them don't come with the spare tires anymore. So you can always put one in there if you want. You can see it has the GT badge with the 50 year. Anniversary edition. You notice this one doesn't have the spoiler on the back. That's part of the package there. They removed the spoiler for the to emphasize the fastback design, I guess. So let's check in here. This is your where you put your fuel in. And it is a capless design. So basically you just put the fuel nozzle in there, pump it, and you're good to go. Now if you do need to use a gas can, you do have to use a little supplied funnel that's in there where the tire inflator kit is. And let me just demonstrate here. I can just push this button, it locks the door. When I say push the button, I just put my finger there. It's not really pushing. To unlock it, I just take my fingers and put it right behind the handle there, and it senses the key. It also senses um, my hand there, so it unlocks and unlocks, locks and unlocks. So that way, you can actually keep the key in your pocket. You never have to take it out of your pocket. This one does have the blind spot detector, and hopefully you can see right there the little indicator light that will you know, alert you when uh, somebody's in your blind spot. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Right there in the center is your latch. You just reach in and push it to the left. Check it out. 5.0 liter V8. It's, it has some cover, some plastic covering it up, but you notice they make it metal looking plastic, so still awesome. You just notice it's got that, that bar across there to um, you know get some really strong stabilization when you're going over you know high speeds and stuff like that. Smooth running 5.0 liter engine powered by Ford it says. Glad it doesn't sound like that. So there's some airflow that can come in through those holes there. They're not just for looks. All right, so let's take a look at the inside. All right, here we are on the inside. Definitely has plenty of room. Comfortable seats, very comfortable seats. There's an envelope there I was telling you about. We'll check that out soon. All right, so let's start over here on the door. You can see it has has the regular door locks there, but just be beside it, you have a one, two, three. Those are for your presets for your power seat so you can have them you know preset and ready to go when you get in the vehicle you don't have to constantly change it if different people are driving so there's your power windows your side mirror controls are there and then you've got your speaker there in the door which is part of the shaker system there's another one there so right here you have um, your headlight controls and it is an automatic headlight system to where you can put on, this is off, this is your parking lights, this is your headlights on, and this is automatically on and off. So you can just leave it right there and never have to mess with it. Um, that would be my favorite position there. 
and this is for your interior your dash lights you can make them brighter or dimmer and this is for your fog lights button there here's a little pocket there um, it kind of extends out pretty far I'm not really sure exactly what it's for maybe put it some change or something but it is felt lined and it extends out pretty good All right, on the steering wheel here, it is a leather wrapped, hand stitched steering wheel that has the contrast stitching in there, the white, with the black leather. It's a very comfortable, very high quality leather feel to it. It's not a, it doesn't feel like a real thin, cheap leather. It feels high quality. And you've got the Mustang running in the center. So on the steering wheel, we have quite a few buttons so here on the right we have your volume button and then you can change to your track your uh, presets on your radio or change to the, your tracks on your CD and then you have this M for mode and mode changes say AM FM satellite radio CD Bluetooth the different uh, modes of playing music through your sound system and then down here you have your uh, this is for your Bluetooth system basically and once you pair your cell phone, your blue, your your smartphone, I guess, uh, or any phone that pretty much has Bluetooth, once you pair it with the Bluetooth system, you can receive calls by pushing this button. So if somebody's calling you, you just push that button, say hello. You can hang up right here. You can also make calls by pushing this button, and that's a voice recognition button. So basically, you can push that button and then say, call John Smith, or whoever happens to be in your phone book uh, on your phone and it'll recognize your voice and find the the one that matches what you're saying now you know of course you have to say it just like it's in your phone book uh, and also this is to mute the uh, the phone call or mute you know you can hold it down and mute the radio as well you can also with the voice recognition if you push that you can also change the stations you can go to a specific address there's lots of different commands that you can say to where you can keep your eyes on the road your hands on the wheel and really control your car for the most part and make and receive calls and all that stuff so the the, the voice recognition system and the Bluetooth system is a very very good safety feature and very convenient too so here on the left we have at the bottom is your cruise control so basically you make sure it's turned on you can set it you can resume and cancel is basically the same uh, system that they've had for years uh, but it has a nice layout there that's easy to reach to, for your thumb now these buttons here correspond with this right between your gauges there's a screen now you can see it has really nice gauges easy to read simple and no gas <laughs> that's a, a theme here at Conway Ford but um of course they'll fill it up when you buy, before you buy it but I like the way it says ground speed that's pretty cool ground speed and then it spells it out for you revolutions per minute rpms on that side then you got your engine temperature there the engine coolant temperature so here is that screen I was telling you about and so basically I mean right there is a menu system I can go up and down in that menu system in the main menu but I'm gonna go into gauge mode so you can see the different things that you can see there uh, air fuel ratio that's pretty interesting um, I'm not sure if m most people are going to understand that or what you know a correct or incorrect range that's supposed to be but there it is nonetheless uh, cylinder head temperature that's that's pretty interesting because that way um, you know if you're really pushing your car <clears throat> in some hot weather and stuff like that if you know you don't want your cylinder heads to overheat so you you know it would be nice to find out what the not the, the range is uh, the you know so 217 degrees is probably a normal range but you know what is the high limit I don't really know so it gives you like a, a gauge there and there's no red line it just says 340 let's go into there gives you a gauge uh, air inlet air temperature interesting colder the air the better usually for for um, intakes and then your oil temperature it does have an oil cooler system and I like the way it does have a green zone so you know where it's supposed to be 
oil transmission temperature. This is very good, handy to have, especially when you're doing some aggressive driving in hot temperatures. And then your voltage, uh, distance to empty, which is no gas, tire pressure, stuff like that. So let's get out of that. Here's your trips. You can see how far you've driven, how long it took, what your average miles per gallon, all that good stuff. And track apps. This is where it gets fun. It has an accelerometer, in other words, a G-force meter, and it will measure not only you taking off, but also around curves, your G-forces around curves, and braking, which is pretty cool. All right, acceleration timers. This is where you can get uh, zero to 60 times, and it'll time it for you. Brake performance is where you can slow down and see how fast you can slow down, that kind of stuff. And you can clear out the results. So there's a lot of cool stuff in the in the uh, in this system. Driver assist, you can turn on and off stuff, like engine auto off, which is like if you use remote start, it's not going to run forever. It's going to eventually turn off. Blind spot monitoring system, you can turn that off. Also, the cross traffic alert system, you could turn that off, but that's really handy because when you're backing out of a parking spot, a perpendicular parking spot, and you can't really see around the cars, but on either side of you, the, that that cross traffic alert will alert you if something's coming in and it uses that blind spot detection system to do that and then you can go in and change all kinds of different settings for your keys uh, your alarm lighting all that good stuff anyway that's a, just kind of a summary of what you can do in that screen or what you can see in that screen it does have you know a compass there where it says north and facing north and of course your odometer and all that good stuff Right, so it does have the paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. You can see right there and right there. So then, so that way, if you're in sport mode, you can cycle through the gears just like a, tra a manual transmission, except for faster than a human could actually change gears. So it's pretty cool. You can really have control of the gear ratios, but outdo any pretty much anybody in the manual transmission as far as shifting the gears. And there's your windshield wipers. And there's your turn signals. All right, so over here, you have your oil pressure in PSI. And this is very, very handy. Uh, this is something you wanna know about because if your oil pressure dips too low, then your engine's not being lubricated properly and it could mean that your, your oil's too hot. It could be your oil, you know, there's something wrong there. So you definitely, if you spring a leak in the oil and the pressure drops, so like your blood pressure. It's pretty much like your drug blood pressure except for you know high is not bad uh, like in see it going up it will go it will fluctuate pretty good while you're driving but your oil pressure is very important for the life of your engine and on the right this is a vacuum gauge and this is the first vehicle I've seen and you know me personally seen with a live vacuum gauge while you're driving this is a really good feature. You can tell a lot about your vehicle on a vacuum gauge. I've used one for years diagnosing engines. And now this one seems to be reading lower than what I'm expecting, uh, but it is in, uh, it is reading in inches of mercury. And I'm, I'm not sure, uh, the normal reading from my understanding is from 17 to 22 or 18 to 22 but this one's a little bit lower I'm not sure if it's in a braking period or maybe that's just the way this engine is or it could be the vacuum in a different spot um, sometimes if you put the vacuum gauge uh, whether it be on the intake or you know different places on the intake it'll give you a different reading so I'm not sure exactly where this is pulling from but as far as knowing about your engine this is a really good diagnostic tool. You can really know how the health of your engine by looking at a vacuum gauge. So the main thing is that it's steady and it will drop when you push the accelerator because it's allowing more air to rush in which lowers the amount of suction the engine has. It is sucking a lot more volume in but the pressure drops. It's kind of interesting. Maybe we can have them talk about that with Matt. All right, so down here is your touch screen. It is an eight inch touch screen and has the basic, you know, system that Ford has in the other vehicles where you have four corners and your phone is here. Uh, this is where you'll see your phone stuff. It's gonna ask me if I wanna pair Search stuff. For sync on your device and Let's get back sync out of that. But once you pair your phone, uh, this is where you can 
you can see your phone book you can make calls with this pad right here and it even shows a picture apparently of the person who's calling you or you calling them it's pretty cool so going back here to the home button we can go back out and the other corner is your navigation now the navigation is not installed on this vehicle yet but once you do install it that's where you'll find your map and where you put your addresses in for destinations all that good stuff entertainment is here in this corner and this is where you can there's lots of way to play place ways to play music on here AM FM satellite radio CD uh, USB uh, Bluetooth and SD card and then a line in so there's lots of different ways of actually playing music through the sound system and then let's go back home and then the last corner you have the climate control so you got your heated and cooled seats controls you can also change the temperature which I'm gonna do now I'm not sure what's that high because it's hot outside it's showing 78 degrees on there but it feels hotter than that <clears throat> but anyways um, this is your, your your dual zone temperature for your driver and passenger and you can you know the, both the front seats are heated and cooled you can adjust your fan speed all that stuff where you want the air to blow so there's your four system uh, four corners there for the main things and you can always go back to home here now it does have a settings uh, portion here where there's lots of stuff you can you can adjust your your sound um, and let's go into vehicle your camera settings this is for like your backup camera or stuff like that also you can enter in valet mode and lock out a lot of features and also keep the vehicle from going too fast that kind of stuff by entering that and you just put in a pin and it will um, you know you know put it in that valet mode all right so just below the touch screen you'll see a volume just a traditional volume and tune through the stations just change through the tracks you can turn the, the radio on and off there so down here we have the climate control and you can see that it's a dual zone uh, this is your driver side this is your passenger side so I can go, go like that warmer or colder and then the passenger seat has the heated and cooled buttons there and the driver seat has the heated and cooled buttons as you can see I do have the cooled seat on right now I can adjust the amount of coolness I want or the fan speed there just by pushing the button and all these controls for the climate are also on the screen here but it is a redundant system in order to give it's more convenient for you to have the buttons on on the screen as well as down here so that's why they're there so the buttons down here here's your your on and off start button you just put you could use the remote start or if you can get in the vehicle uh, you just put your foot on the brake, push that button, and it starts up. So that's another way of starting the, the vehicle. So these buttons right here, this is your four-way flashers. So you can turn those on and off like that. And then you have this as your trash control. You can turn that on and off just by pushing it up. This is your steering comfort level, I guess. Uh, the stiffness of the steering, this one. So, so I'm going to go ahead and show you on the screen up here because it's going to give you a couple options. As I move it, you can see it shows normal, sport, and comfort. So normal, sport, and comfort. So comfort will give you the maximum amount of uh, steering power. Normal will just kind of be middle, and then sport will be, you know, kind of a stiff steering. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on normal. And so this next last button here is called, um, this is your drive mode. And basically, so it's got the normal mode, sport mode, track, which is off-road. Like you, you get the, the maximum amount of power and you get the least amount of traction control. So you could spin tires and everything in the off-road uh, track mode. Then if you're in a snow or, or wet surfaces, you can go in that mode and that way you're letting the vehicle know that you are on slippery surfaces and it might it will let you spin tires a little bit in order to keep moving or in a, in a wet environment it would um, it is basically it uses the anti-lock brake system or some kind of system to keep you straight on the on the road if you so, so you don't spin out basically I'm not sure exactly the details and the technology behind it but that's what it's intended to do Alright, so that's the buttons there. 
and so down here you can find your USB port and that's where you can plug in stuff to charge. You can also play music through the shaker system, music system. You got the uh, cigarette lighter here, which this one has the smokers group. So it actually has an old fashioned cigarette lighter plus a power supply there. And then you've got this little storage pocket for putting your phone or whatever. Now here's the shifter and the shifter, you can just put it in reverse like that. And I've got the, uh, the backup camera. Um, is turning on but you can see it's aiming up in the air because I have the trunk still open because uh, I had to do something so the trunk's open so there's a, a nice view of the sky when uh, with put it in reverse but basically you get a nice view of behind the vehicle uh, when you put it in reverse so I can continue down there's neutral there's drive and that's your normal drive mode. You drive around, you don't have to think about it. You can put it down in sport mode, and this is where you can use the paddle shifters here on the steering wheel, and it also emphasizes performance over um, fuel economy. So that's that's what that's for, and it'll hold your shifts, shift points a little bit higher and all that good stuff. All right, there's your parking brake there. Your cup holders are here. There's the keys. You have some cup holders. And then right here you have this center console which opens up and you'll find a storage pocket but you also find a USB, your line and auxiliary input and your SD card input plus another power supply there and then you got some storage space down in there. And you have an auto dim rear view mirror which it is auto dimming now because of the uh, my shade is blocking off the little sensor so it's an auto dim there I'm going to go ahead and move this away so you can see it on dim see it gets lighter and then when you put this back there it'll dim back down I don't know if you can notice that but it dims down pretty considerably I don't know if the camera's picking it up and then up here you got these tap lights and you also have this is your microphone for your Bluetooth system lights your visors have mirrors and lights in them all right let's take a look back here see your visibility and look at those seats those are awesome all right and there's that wide envelope I keep talking about so inside here is a picture and a little note here showing all the people that actually built this particular car. And it's signed, it says it was built for you at Flat Rock Assembly Plant. And it's a 2015 Mustang GT limited edition. And those are the dudes and dudettes that manufacture the car right there. They're standing next to this car, and they're taking a picture with it, just for you. So there you have it, 2015 50-year anniversary, limited edition, number 1284 out of 1964, limited edition car, you see it's got the middle there, really nice car, it has a nice rumble to it. Uh, the, you know, everything is super good quality, it's comfortable, has plenty of room. Definitely an interesting car. All right, well, there you go. Thanks for watching, and um, if you could, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.